to Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network, in a press briefing and follow-up interview at the American Society of Clinical Oncology meeting in Orlando, Dr. Edith Mitchell of Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia presented the findings of a study where she showed a skin care regimen given prior to colon cancer treatment with panitubumab significantly reduced skin toxicities associated with this treatment. 29% of patients experienced a skin rash compared to 62% who did not receive this regimen ahead of time. Could you explain the exact regimen that you used in your study? In our study, we demonstrated that administration of a skin treatment plan for patients given prophylactically prior to the initiation of chemotherapy, uh, within 24 hours of administration of chemotherapy, uh, that this plan decreased the skin toxicities that patients experience as a result of epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitor panitumumab given with chemotherapy. Can you tell me the dosage and uh, how you, you gave it? Yes. Uh, for all of the patients in the study, we recommended that they use a topical moisturizer applied to the face and upper trunk daily. Uh, there was a topical corticosteroid preparation, 1% hydrocortisone, and a topical sunscreen in the sun exposed areas if the patient was going to uh, be in sunlight for more than 30 minutes. And we actually provided the patients a um, kit that contained Lubriderm as the um, uh, moisturizer and 1% hydrocortisone as the corticosteroid preparation. All of the patients also took uh, an oral uh, uh, antibiotic, doxycycline, 100 milligrams twice daily, and they continued that during the six-week treatment period. Uh, during the six-week treatment period. This was the evaluation period. However, if patients' chemotherapy continued past that six-week period, uh, they would continue on the skin treatment regimen indefinitely as long as they were on chemotherapy and at risk for the skin toxicity uh, from panitubumab. Can you tell me uh, how debilitating this rash is for patients when they experience uh, it? The rash can be uh, tremendously debilitating. Uh, approximately 90% of patients receiving panitumumab experience some kind of rash. Uh, the rash can lead to secondary complications such as infection, sepsis, uh, it can cause treatment delays, uh, and in some cases uh, has even led to death uh, secondary to infections. So it can be tremendously important. For some patients, uh, it can affect the personal appearance and quality of life such that there are some patients who elect not to even receive this therapy or may discontinue it electively because of the skin toxicity. Right, now, do you think this uh, regimen would be efficacious for other EGRF inhibitors as well? Uh, well, I can only speak about this uh, study and the study evaluated panitumumab, but certainly the skin toxicity uh, is related to a class effect and thereby it is certainly feasible and has been utilized in other uh, disease states with other uh, epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitors, but this study focused on uh, treatment with panitumumab. Thank you, Dr. Mitchell. This has been Damian McNamara with Global Medical News Network.